Now we're going to make a uh, very, very classic twist on a famous cocktail from uh, late 20th century London, which is called a bramble. Now the bramble is a classic blend of gin, uh, lemon juice and sugar, shaken and served over crushed ice and stained with a little bit of creme de mure. This follows the same proportions, but none of the ingredients are in common. In this case, we're going to make what's called a fajoa bramble. And to start with, we're going to use New Zealand's most famous export, fresh kiwi, which we're just going to chop and peel. And we're also going to add to this a little bit of fresh lime instead of the lemon juice in the original bramble, then some sugar. We're going to shake this and serve it over crushed ice. Uh, and we're going to use as a base for this 42 below fajoa, which is very, very dry and very, very clean. And then we're going to stain it with uh, what's called creme de cassis, which is a blackcurrant liqueur, which is fairly widely available. So we need about half a kiwi there. Then um, I want both the uh, juice and the skins from this lime. So what I'm going to do first of all, see how much juice we're getting. Looking nice and juicy. I'm just going to throw those in there as well. All right, so we've got um, the juice of a whole lime, we've got half a kiwi fruit. At which point we need, instead of using raw sugar, like we do say for a kaipa roshka or, or typically sometimes a mojito, with this we're going to use sugar syrup. Very, very simple to make. Um, and the reason we use this is it just combines much more quickly, much more easily. You get a far better, more blended drink. This time we're going to use a muddler, which is less ostentatious. This is a nice small one, just enables you to really get in there in the fruits and give it a good grinding. So uh, sometimes you'll see muddlers which are even smaller than this, but what's more important is that it fits in your hand, it works effectively. All you're trying to do here is just give the kiwi fruit a bit of a pounding, just get it working in with the lime oils getting some amazing flavours coming out of that. At which point we need one and a half parts of 42 Below Fijoa, which is a very, very dry flavoured vodka. It's going to give it a very, very lean flavour. That's pretty much ready to go. All that remains for it now is for it to be shaken. In the meantime, what I need is just be serving this over crushed ice. So what we're going to do here, the fastest way to make crushed ice, unless you have a machine crusher or a uh, very, very large gargantuan fridge, the best thing to do is wrap it up in a clean tea towel good sort of uh, three or four scoops of ice, pretty much ideal. At this point, of course, a larger muddler does tend to come in handy. Give it a good old belting. What's going to happen here is the ice is just crushing up. Got lovely sort of uh, clean snow cone flavours. That's probably not meant to happen, but we'll pretend we didn't see that. Uh, just give it a good whack. Take out your frustrations. Get nice powdered snow. At which point, we're going to put that in the glass, shake this quickly and strain it over. The Fijoa Bramble is a fantastic, very, very dry, clean drink. It's got an amazing uh, sort of character. It's a great summertime drink as well because the crushed ice keeps the drink cold for a very, very long time. Also aids with a little bit of dilution as well. It's got a nice sort of tightly packed snow cone there. In the meantime, next up we need to shake this as fast as possible. So we want to be using the very, very best of that crushed ice. So throw your shaking tin over the top. Give that a good tap, got a nice firm seal being formed, and then give this a good hard shake. You really want the ingredients mixing around. So we'll move this around, then we're going to strain this, and we're going to finally crown it with a little bit of our cassis. Got amazing flavours, really green, really dry, really, really tart sort of character to this drink. Got an amazing visual effect as well. Kiwi fruit enables you to have an amazing green. It's just dribbling through the crushed ice there, at which point we're just going to crown this, if you like, by drizzling a little of uh, creme de cassis, which is a black currant liqueur, through the surface of the drink. And it's going to dribble down and cause quite a visually stunning effect as it dribbles through the drink. Cassis is a fantastic product. Black currants are the base. Absolutely amazing ingredient and it gives you a really, really stunning drink. The Fijoa Bramble. That is delicious. Dry, lovely kind of touch of sweetness coming through from the cassis. It's tasty.